The graft that is taken from the middle third of the patella tendon is about 10 centimeters long. It incorporates a plug of bone from the lower part of the kneecap on one end and a piece of bone from the upper tibia on the other end. The defect in the patella tendon is closed. The tendon heals and eventually regains its strength. This graft can also be taken from a cadaver. This has some advantages, but also some risks. The rest of the operation is performed with the aid of the arthroscope while viewing the inside of the knee on a television monitor. The arthroscope is introduced into the knee and the joint is inspected. Any associated problem such as torn cartilage is corrected. To create a tunnel in the proper location in the tibia, a guide pin is passed through the upper tibia. It enters the joint at the spot where the ACL normally attaches to the tibia. The guide pin is over-drilled with a cannulated drill. A guide pin is now passed through the tibia tunnel and into the femur. It is drilled into the bone at the spot where the ACL normally attaches to the femur. The pin is over-drilled to the appropriate depth. A long guide pin is now passed upward through the tibial tunnel across the joint into the femoral tunnel and out through the front of the thigh. This guide pin is used to pull the ACL graft through the tibial tunnel across a joint and into the femoral tunnel. The knee is fully flexed. Working now through a small opening in front of the knee, a guide pin is pushed into the femoral tunnel next to the graft. An interference screw is passed over the pin and screwed into the femoral tunnel. This secures the upper end of the graft in the femoral tunnel. The knee is now extended and the graft is pulled tightly. As tension is applied to the graft, a second interference screw is screwed into the tibial tunnel. This locks into place the lower end of the graft within the tibial tunnel. The screws securely hold the new ACL in place until the bone plugs heal in place. The knee is now stable and motion can begin immediately. In fact, a continuous passive motion machine, or CPM, is used to slowly move the knee about 23 hours a day. This early and continuous motion is very important to decrease knee pain, to quickly regain knee motion, and to avoid problems with the kneecap.